Hi, I'm State Representative Tom Mahaffey. I'm here in our district, the 106th district in uh, Hubblestown Borough, and I'm with K Optical. I think it's always important that we showcase our new businesses and old businesses throughout our, our district. And what we want to do today is learn a little about what K Optical does and how they make glasses. So I'm going to introduce you to Don Kerman, our, the owner. Yes. And Hello. his daughter, Kara. Hello. And um, ask him a little bit about what happens here. But furthermore, how did this start? How did you start this business? The business actually started in 1979. So we're in 39 years of business at this point. Um, my oldest brother had started the business and I came to work for him in 1986 and then purchased the business from him in 1990. So I've been the owner since 1990. Wow, that's, that's incredible. That's really great. You know, I'm, I'm in business myself for 25 years and it just flies by when you, you start thinking about how long <laughs> you've been doing this. So it's a great thing. So Kara, how'd you get involved with the family business? Um, so I started working here summers during college. Um, you know, cleaning some old machines, working back in the lab, operating the machines, and I unexpectedly fell in love with it, just working here summers over college. So then I actually switched my major up at Penn State um, to kind of move in the direction to take over this business someday and keep it in the family. Oh, that's great. Yeah, family businesses are always good to, to be involved and get your family involved. So that's, that's wonderful. Oh, yes. Yeah, it really is a great thing. So uh, going back and, and uh, talking a little bit about what you do here. So you're a family owned independent business, I'm assuming, correct? Yes. Okay. And what do you, who do you service throughout the, your community? Is it just right here or, or how far out do you reach? Um, we service the local community, but we service all over the state of Pennsylvania from Pittsburgh to Philly uh, and also some out of state. We do some work in Alabama, mm -hmm. North Carolina, uh, Maryland, New Jersey, California. So in Florida, we've also wow, done you really in. reach out far then. Mm -hmm. That's yes. wonderful. So how do you get affiliated with the optometrists? Do you, do you go out and do work that, or do they kind of like what you produce here? I mean, is it because you you are you're, you're a manufacturer, you're producing a yes. product. Yes. So you know you're kind of selling your product. So we do. How does that work in that way? Um, we go and visit the practices and present our technologies and our business, uh, the lenses that we do supply. Um, so we go out on the road and solicit that business. Oh, that's that's yeah. wonderful. You know, when you, you get in and you're, this is customer service, but is this more a wholesale uh, or retail or how does this work as far yes, as we are in your uh, business? Strictly wholesale. Okay. Um, and we strictly make eyeglasses. We don't do any contact lenses here at this operation. It's all eyeglasses. Right. How has the business changed? And I know we're going to get an opportunity to go through your warehouse and, and, and get to see the manufacturing part of it, but how, how, how much has it changed over the past oh, years since you started? It's changed tremendously, and uh, we really have a fantastic staff here. I've been blessed that uh, our staff has had great longevity. We have guides that have been here their whole adult lives. Um, and. They're very brilliant people. We've been able to do a lot of our own programming and a lot of our own ideas here. So we're kind of unique to the industry because uh, we, we're smarter than the average bear and we have uh, incorporated all the latest technologies and uh, software into our, into our process. Well, staff is so important. I know as, as an employer, yes. it is so important to have great staff. And if you have people that have been here that long, that means you're a good owner and somebody <laughs> that treats people well. And that's, yes. that's, that's what it's all about and making sure you have that. But not only that, I mean, that means you have a great product coming through because you know that your staff knows what they're doing. You don't have large turnover yes. and that's good. And we'd love, we'd love to see that here, right here in Pennsylvania, but only, only in, not only in Pennsylvania, but in the district. Yes. You know, to see that we have great manufacturers and great business people that are here. So do you want to take us on a tour here and start us a, a little bit about what you do and show uh, everybody? I've had the luxury of doing this. I was <laughs> so impressed that I wanted to come back and do, sure. do one of Tom's tours right here in the borough of Homeless Town. But, I, you know, I, I drove by this a thousand times. I would have never known that we had our own manufacturer of eyeglasses here. So it, I really thought it's a great opportunity to showcase what you do, what Kara does, and, and be able to, you know, give everybody the opportunity to see how their glasses are truly made. Because I sure. really never knew how they were made. So, <laughs> so. Most people don't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, how does it start? How do we start here? Is this uh, order start first and then we go from there? Or how do, you, how do we want to? Yes. Yeah, Basically, um, 
the prescriptions will come in through the doctors. Uh, they'll come in a variety of methods. We get a lot of our orders in through the internet. Uh, we do have a proprietary remote ordering system that we place in the doctor's office that they can order their RXs right over the web. And there's also insurance companies that we have contracts with that they can place their orders through. So today it's virtually all web-based. Um, for many years it was a lot of phone calls. They would phone in orders, but now the technology has uh, you know, progressed and, and uh, we would start with getting orders in mostly over the internet. So the first process would be, um, this would be an order, for example, that comes in, and we've written all the software for the practices to do this. Oh, really? Uh, yes. So you uh, do all your own We do our own software apps. also, which differentiates us in our marketplace. So the order would start and would come in, and we have a lot of job trays that are going to be uh, employed and the jobs or the trays are all color coded by method of shipment. It just helps everybody know what priority during the day, what trays to put at the head of the line. So the first step would be we would tray up the job and then um, we would pull the lenses, the appropriate lenses for this job for the prescription that is that is called for, and then, <coughs> excuse me, um, it would come over to our operations center, and Kara and Jessica and Pam, Tanya, Linda, we have a, a host of staff that would be entering this our inf information. And one of the neat things today with technology is a lot of the lens designs are actually going to start out looking like this. This is what they call a puck of plastic, a puck of material. And uh, we use a lot of Zeiss product. Now, when I, I, I got to be honest with you, the first time I was here and, and <laughs> showed me this, I was like, really? This is, you know, because you really think it starts small and, and yeah. it's a, quite a large puck. It, it is. is a puck. It is, <laughs> yes. So, I mean, it's, it's close to what the... Uh, you know the bears play with so yeah. you know it it's, is and it's, it's really interesting how that that starts like that to what we work down to in our classes it is and the technology has changed rapidly um, four years ago we would not be starting with this type of product we would have been starting with a pre-molded blank on the front side from the manufacturer but with today's technology everything is done digitally it, you can think of it as you know about 3D printing, this is 3D grinding and, and everything with the CNC on the machines. So this puck can be turned into unlimited lens designs. It's all software based. Uh, all the different manufacturers, um, we can download their designs and their model is they charge a click fee for their designs. Let's take a tour of the plant. Let's sure. go back through where, really, where this all starts and let's see how this puck becomes an island. Okay, we're here, ready to start the process. Don and Carrie, if you could tell us a little bit about what Jay's doing and explain how the process goes. The first step in the process is, uh, Jay is, is going to get a frame trace of the patient's frame. It's gonna digitize that shape to be stored into our system and used in the processing so the lenses can be cut specifically for that patient in that patient's frame that they chose. And he's going to verify all of the parameters that go into uh, the, the process. He's going to do a double check on the entry from uh, customer service and make sure everything is as the doctor prescribed. Okay. Now, as Jay does this process, I see you have a lot of trays here. I mean, how do you keep this in order? I mean, this is like a lot. So there there is method to our madness. Um, okay. One of the technologies that we do use on the bottom of our trays, we use RFID, RFID readers that uh, we have sensors both under the cabinets, under the counters, and on the conveyor tracks. So at each step of the process, the doctor can look over the web and see exactly where their patient's order is. And we can also track that internally. So every step is tracked. Wow. 
that's that's pretty impressive. I mean, I know with all this going on, it seems, you know, it's just a pair of glasses, but truly it's it's something special. I mean, you got to really pay attention to that. So we got to keep going here. You want to show us the next point or where we're at with as far as what after Jay's done, where he, you know, what he does next or sure. what we do next? What would happen next is um, we would be choosing blocks to adhere to the lens to give something to hold the, the lens during the processing for the machinery. And we're gonna apply a surface saver tape to the front side of the lens that's going to both protect it from heat and any scratches from uh, processing. And then the next step would be digital lens blocker. The job would be scanned and uh, an image would be overlaid over the blocker and the, the uh, block would be adhered to the lens with an alloy and what that's going to do is it's going to center the optical center for that patient's pupil in that frame. So this is a very important process. Uh, we do have uh, federal guidelines uh, of tolerances that we must meet, ANSI standards, so uh, it's very important everybody does their step very critically. We implement Satislow digital surfacing technology um, and what's really special about this machine and what sets it apart is that it grinds these lenses within a thousand diopters of accuracy. So when you think about it and you get your prescription from the doctor, it's usually by a quarter of a diopter. So this just goes above and beyond um, to really make the lenses as accurate as possible. Um, it's a very high-tech machine. There's not a lab anywhere that has more advanced technology. They just might have 10 of them um, if they're you know, in a larger manufacturing operation. Um, every morning, one of our employees spends about 30 to 60 minutes calibrating this machine to ensure its accuracy because it does go to a thousandth of a diopter. So the, when the lenses are picked up by this machine, um, they go in and the prescription is ground onto the surface of the lens at this point. So when the lenses come off of here, they have the prescription and then they just need to be polished to get that clear viewing surface of the lens. So you can see it has a pretty smooth surface, but not quite polished yet to uh, viewing clarity. Okay. This machine here is our matching Satislow polisher. Um, it utilizes soft tools that have different curvatures to match the prescription of the lens. So this machine is going to pick up both of the lenses and drop them down here into the polishing chamber where a soft tool is put against the surface of the lens um, just to get it nice and clear and a smooth surface. Um, and then it also dips into a washing chamber, washes all the polish off, and then would come out on the conveyor side over here. Okay. At this point, Travis would uh, be putting micro etchings on the lenses. Lenses are all micro etched for the manufacturer by what type of lens they are, the material, the any add power on there. They would have small laser engravings in, in the lens. So he's operating the laser right now that will engrave those products. The next step in the process would be the coating process where we're going to be coating the back side of the lens. The front side is coated by the manufacturer, but because we ground away the back side of it, um, we've exposed the raw material. So we're going to encapsulate that in a very scratch proof, very hard, hard coating. And the process uh, would be loaded into the machine it's a fully automated machine. It's going to go through a wash cycle where it's going to be micro abraded and then dried off and then it will go to the coating chamber next and the coating will be applied to the back of the lens and the lens will spin uh, to even out the coating and then it will go to a UV chamber in the back that will cure that uh, to a very, very hard substrate and then the lens will be removed. Now we're in the finishing section and we're here with Mike, but this, when I first came to do my visit with uh, K Optical, I was here and this is what Kara, you were doing actually. Yes, um, as a small business, when people take lunches or have doctor's appointments, there's a large need for people to be able to jump in at several different positions. Um, typically this is Mike or we have another Mike that does this, um, but Mike has trained me in this area as well, so sometimes I jump in here. 
So you can operate pretty much everything here. Yes, yes, so, I've seen the ropes. So what is Mike doing right now? What's, what's so he? So what Mike is doing right now is finding the optical center of the lens and verifying the prescription as to what's on the ticket and what has been ordered. Um, we have several verification steps just to make sure every step of the process is um, exactly what the doctor ordered. <laughs> okay. um, so he's checking the prescription of the lens and then um, configuring the settings for the lens to be edged into the patient's brain. Okay, and when he finishes, then where do we go next? What would be the next process? The next step would be for him to put the lenses um, on a block so that the machine can pick them up to be edged into the frame sheet. So he's putting the block on and he's viewing a screen in there that is um, going to line up the optical center of the lens at the correct position um, on the trace file that has been uploaded. And what that does is it makes sure that that clearest zone of the lens is in the right area um, based on the pupil position of that patient. So this is the edger? Yes, this okay. is the edger. So after the tray goes on the track, it's going to come around the conveyor um, and end up right here waiting in our queue line for the edger. Okay. These uh, machines are the state of the art for the industry. Um, they're very advanced, uh, high level production that we can do very custom work. This machine has a full CAD program on it that allows us to do uh, very custom work uh, like Oakley sunglass lenses. And you can see the automation with the robots um, loading and unloading the trays. Steve Warfield is uh, doing assembly. Steve's been here for a, a long time doing many different things. He's seen our operation change quite a bit with technology over the years. He's been here since the beginning and we've made a lot of changes with technology, a lot of investments. So he would be doing assembly and also recording digital circumferences into the computer and verifying things at his station. Again, we have readers that are underneath the counters and on the track that are going to track every step of the process. Um, when he is completed with his assembly area, he will send it to Jay for quality control final inspection. Okay. Jay will verify that the prescription is exactly what the doctor ordered. Um, everything is in ANSI standards. The billing is correct. Cosmetics are good and uh, that will be the final step in the process of the manufacturing. This is Tanya, she's also Hi. been here since before I was, yeah, since I was <laughs> born. Um, so what she does here is based on shipping priority, which was color coded by the trays, um, as we said earlier, um, she does those according to priority, scans the jobs in and then puts them in each little bin um, that's gonna go for one of our different accounts. Well, I want to thank you so much. I want to thank Kay Optical, and I want to thank the Kerman family for allowing us to come out and ex see a little bit what we do in the manufacturing that happens right here in Hummelstown Borough in the district. Thank you. So I want to thank you for that. I hope everybody enjoyed Tom's tours. I look forward to our next tour coming up soon. So thank you so much for joining us, and thank you, Kay Optical, for allowing us to come in and visit your business. Yeah, thank You're you. You're welcome. Thank you.